Today is Holy Thursday, the beginning of the Holy Triduum. To help us enter more deeply into this journey with Jesus, we will pray with the Gospel of John. At the Last Supper, as Jesus washes the feet of his disciples. Before the Feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon, the Iscariot, to hand him over. So during supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then I'm not only my feet, but my hands and my head as well. Jesus said to him, Whoever has bathed has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. For he knew who would betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet and put his garments back on and reclined a table again, he said to them, Do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I, therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that it I have done for you, you should also do. Before we begin this guided meditation on the Gospel of the Last Supper that we just heard, get into a comfortable space that allows you to have quiet for these 10 minutes for yourself and God to be alert and relaxed, but not too relaxed. Sit up in your chair with your feet on the floor. Breathe in deeply as you stretch out your back and breathe out as you relax your neck and shoulders. Breathe in deeply, breathe out deeply. Breathe in God's love and light and peace. Breathe out all that is not of God. Intentionally invite God into your prayer space, into this brief time together. You do not need to read anything. Feel free to close your eyes as this guided meditation walks you through the passage again using your imagination. Join the disciples and Jesus in the upper room. Use all your senses to place yourself in this space at the Last Supper, to surround yourself in this very special evening. Using your senses, what do you smell as this meal is prepared? Do you smell the freshly baked bread? What aromas are wafting from the kitchen below? What flavors and herbs that go into this meal? What do you taste? What does the wine 
passing your lips. Capture flavor. What do you see? Are there candles lit? What are on all these different plates that are ready to serve up this special dinner, this last supper? Now allow yourself to be in the room, to be among this gathering. Who are you sitting near? Look at Jesus. Notice with whom he is talking and notice to whom he is listening. Notice how the disciples look at and listen and talk with him. They are a rambunctious bunch. They are glad to be finally resting after the many days walking to arrive here in Jerusalem for this Passover meal. Be in this company. What does it feel like? Amidst all the conversation and boisterousness, food and drink, when is it that you notice that Jesus gets up to take off his outer garment, to pour the water into the basin and tie a towel around his waist? Maybe it's about the same time that Peter notices that Jesus has washed and dried the feet of a few fellow disciples before he realizes that Jesus plans to wash his feet too. Peter asks incredulously, are you going to wash my feet? As Jesus nears him. Peter's defiant refusal to allow this is loaded with all that is uniquely Peter. Now imagine Jesus approaching you to wash your feet. Are you going to quietly allow this to happen? Like the first disciples did? Or like Peter, will you at first refuse? As Jesus gets closer, take a moment to share with Jesus why you would allow this encounter to happen. To be a quiet moment between the two of you. Why you trust in whatever Jesus offers you. If at first you refuse Share with Jesus why you are so reluctant to have Jesus this close to you, to be this vulnerable with Jesus. As you share your thoughts with Jesus, Jesus is looking at you. Look into Jesus's eyes as he looks up at you. Listen to what Jesus might want to share with you now.
What does it feel like to have Jesus take care of you in this way? In what ways do you want and need Jesus to care for you now? When Peter says with great zeal, not only my feet, but my hands and head as well. He misunderstands Jesus's message that Peter and all of them must follow Jesus's model to do for others. In what areas of your life do you most often miss out on this key point, this doing for others part? In what areas of your life do you get it? Do you offer quiet companionship and care for others? Spend a moment sharing with Jesus the struggle you have trying to care for others or allowing others to care for you. As you wrap up your conversation with Jesus, say a few word of thanks to God for this prayer time together. This guided meditation is ending, but your prayer time can continue. Spend some quiet time with God, listening for what God may want to still share with you. If you have some time after that quiet listening, write down a few words or sentences that capture your experience. God bless us all. Amen.